Welcome to CartHook Checkout. I'm Catrice. I'm a support specialist here at CartHook. I'd like to start by saying thanks for joining us, and we're really excited to work with you. Today, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of all the key steps that you'll need to take to get set up. All right, let's get started. Once you've created a new account, you'll be taken to the Setup page. You'll notice that there are six simple steps that you'll need to complete to get started. The first being the most important, connecting your Shopify store. Once you click the Connect My Store button, you'll be taken to your Shopify apps installation page. You'll just want to agree to install our unlisted app. And there you have it, your store is connected. So the next step is to personalize your account. You can upload a logo here. And once you've done that, one of the most important steps that you need to take is making sure that your settings match between your CartHook admin and your Shopify store. You can click here to view the settings in your Shopify store. Once you've verified that the settings match here and in Shopify, you can click Save Settings. One important thing to note here is that in addition to these settings, you may need to adjust your shipping settings in your Shopify store. We automatically pull over any shipping zones that you have set up in your store. Currently, you will need to have a separate shipping zone for each country that you ship to instead of using rest of the world for shipping. Once you've verified that all of your settings match between CartHook and Shopify, we can head on over and connect a payment processor. If you're using Stripe as a payment processor, please keep in mind that the Stripe account you link to CartHook must be different than that used with Shopify payments. If you don't have a Stripe account yet, you can sign up for one by clicking the Connect Now button. If you're using PayPal, we require that you enter your API username, password, and signature. Please note that in order to show post-purchase upsells to your shoppers who pay with PayPal, you will need to enable reference transactions for your PayPal account. For more details, please check out our help documents. Now that you've set up a payment processor, it's time to set up tracking. We offer a bunch of different integrations, including Trackify, Google Analytics, Facebook, and even Klaviyo. But for the sake of this demo, we're going to go ahead and skip on to the last step, the most fun step, creating your first checkout funnel. You'll notice that one funnel has already been created for you. It's your Shopify checkout replacement funnel. This funnel is the funnel that includes your checkout and thank you page. The funnel that you create will be sandwiched between these two pages. So let's go ahead and check out our template editor. Our template editor really allows you to customize the checkout page so you can get it to look the way you'd like. We offer a lot of different customization options. You can add things like elements by dragging and drop a row, choosing the columns, and then easily put something like text here. We even offer the ability for you to edit the CSS and JavaScript of your template. All right, once you're done, you can hit the Save button or hit Exit. And now my template is customized the way I want. The only thing that's left to do here is to take this tag and add it to the product that I want to trigger my checkout. Let's take a look. I'll choose this camera. And over here in tags, I'm going to add the cart hook checkout tag. 
and that's all there is to it. Now, anytime one of my shoppers adds this product to their cart, they will be taken through my cart hook checkout, the one that I just customized. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. There it is. Now I'm ready to add a post-purchase upsell to my funnel. I'll start by going back to the Funnels tab and clicking this button here, Add New Shopify Funnel. We get to make up a tag and then click Add New Shopify Funnel. You'll be taken to the Funnel homepage where you can edit the upsell steps Choose a product, and there you have it. Now a product is linked to your funnel. You can also customize this template as well. It's the same template editor. It'll really allow you to customize your template the way you'd like. Now that you've created your upsell funnel, all you'll need to do is take this tag and add that to your product as well. So you'll see here we have both tags, the cart hook checkout, which triggers your checkout page, and the cart hook underscore walkthrough, which triggers your upsell funnel. And now let's take a look at how that looks. We've already added this product to our cart, so I'm going to go ahead and hit checkout. And there's my upsell. And finally, my thank you page. Now you've had a brief overview of how to get started with your cart hook checkout. And it's as simple as that. However, there are some things that might cause a slight hiccup in getting your checkout up and running. When you install our app, we install a snippet into your theme files. Sometimes themes aren't quite compatible, but no worries. If you do encounter this problem, we'll have our support engineer go right in and fix that up. Just send us an email at support at carthook.com or you can message us using the little chat bubble at the bottom right corner of your screen. Thanks so much for watching. We're very excited to have you.